In this video we will be looking at how to set up circuits which contain voltage controlled current sources. First of all let's set up a new circuit schematic, we will call it VCCS, then press Ctrl L and type in VCCS to find a voltage controlled current source. As usual we can double click on this and remove some of the parameters which we don't need and then we have to reflect upon what values we want to give to R1 and R2 in order to turn this into an ideal source. At the input of our source what we have is this resistor R1 which we want to use to measure our voltage. So we want it to act as an ideal voltmeter and the only way to do this is to set R1 to an infinite value. This way R1 will have no current flowing through it and it will only measure the voltage across its terminals without affecting the rest of the circuit. This voltage will then be multiplied by M, which as you can see here has got units of Siemens to give us the value of the current at the output of the source. So you can see at the moment here R1 is equal to 0 ohms, which seems to be exactly the opposite of what we want. But if we double click on this element, you can see that in this case, both for R1 and R2, 0 means infinite. So at the input of our source we have an infinite resistance R1 which is what we want. We want to have an ideal voltmeter and at the output of our source we have a current source in parallel with an infinite resistance R2. Because R2 is infinite it will draw absolutely no current whatsoever and so this is indeed in this configuration an ideal voltage controlled current source. The next thing that we will do is set up the circuit shown in figure 3.56 of your book. This is associated with problem 3.7 in the problems section. So the first thing that I'll do as usual is right click and flip the current source and then I will put all the other circuit elements on the schematic. As we did in previous videos, firstly we just bother with the output of our control source, which is what I've done here. I've connected at the output of the source because that is what is shown on the schematic that we're trying to replicate. Now what we need to do is produce a voltage across R1 which is equal to the voltage across the 30 ohm resistor R3. Because R1 has got an infinite value and is not going to draw any current and hence is not going to affect the circuit at all, we can simply connect its terminal 1 to the top terminal of R3 and its terminal 2 to the bottom terminal of R3. This will give us the voltage of the right polarity which is consistent with what is shown on the schematic from the book. Now we need to set the right value for the parameter M which will relate the value of the input voltage to the value of the output current, that's why it's got a unit units of Siemens and this is 0.05. Lastly we need to put a ground reference somewhere in the circuit and then we will simply add a couple of annotations for current and voltage and then we'll simulate. If you try to solve this exercise yourself on paper you will see that you get exactly the same results as you get on the simulator. Note that there is no current going through R1 which is what we would expect.